Like and subscribe or you'll have two weeks of bad luck. There are some pretty terrifying creatures that live out in the ocean, Megalodon being one of the most well-known and terrifying sea predators of all time. What you may not know, though, is that there are creatures in the depths of the sea make even Megalodon swim away in fear. Today, we are going to be counting down 10 sea monsters scarier than Megalodon. Number 10. Big Fin Squid While there's many of the sea monsters that make their way onto this list are thankfully extinct, unfortunately, this terrifying creature is very much real. This big fin squid may very well be one of the most disturbing creatures to have ever lurked in the ocean depths. Initially, the big fin squid appeared to be so bizarre and terrifying that it was believed to be a hoax. Unfortunately, the reality is far more terrifying. Also known as the long-arm squid, it's one of the most elusive and least studied creatures on the planet, and scientists are still struggling to identify the inner mechanics of this alien-like species. Why are its arms so long? What is it reaching towards? Where do they come from? Although we are very curious, we're not totally sure if we want to know. Number 9. The Two-Headed Shark A two-headed shark sounds like something straight from a movie, but we are definitely not making this up. According to National Geographic, two-headed sharks are becoming more and more common, and they're also a mystery of the sea. These two-headed sharks keep popping up and no one really knows why. Why now? These are normal sharks which have simply been mutated. This is probably from genetic abnormalities due to overfishing. The first one of these was found in 2008 by a fisherman in the Indian Ocean, but more recently they've been seen in many places, for example, northwestern Mexico and the Gulf of California. Two-headed animals aren't exactly all that uncommon, but there seem to be more and more two-headed sharks every single year. The National Polytechnic Institute in Mexico believes that overfishing may be to blame. Overfishing is removing a species of fish from the water at a rate the species can't replenish, so the sharks don't have enough time to actually mate and make more sharks. Number 8. The Bobbit Worm When you think of terrifying sea monsters, chances are you think of gigantic, massive, terrifying looking creatures. The Bobbit Worm is nothing like that. In fact, in terms of its size, it's absolutely tiny. However, don't let that fool you, because the Bobbit Worm is one of the most horrific sea creatures to have ever existed. And also, unfortunately, it still does exist. Thriving in shallow waters of only a few hundred feet in depth, the Bobbit Worm can grow up to 10 feet long and 3 inches in diameter. It's covered in razor-sharp spines that it uses as legs to dig its way into the seafloor, where it then buries itself into the sand and leaves a tiny piece of its head still exposed. The bobbit worm has tentacles that detect any new changes in the water pressure, and when it senses a creature nearby, it'll propel itself like a bullet from its hole and snap its mandibles around its target. The bobbit worm has been known to exert enough force to crush stone, and even in many cases, it just cuts its prey straight in half. The bobbit worm is a creature like no other and it gives a whole new meaning to the term sea monster. So if you scuba dive, beware. Number 7. Leviathan You may think that the Megalodon was the only prehistoric sea monster, but many say that the Leviathan is a worthy contender and may actually beat the Megalodon in a battle. They are not to be confused with Leviathan. This species of whale lived 13 million years ago, and it would survive on a diet of other whales. Here's a size comparison showing how big one of these is compared to a human. Gigantic fossils of its mouth and teeth have been found in the seas around the world. Leviathan Leviathan can hold its breath much longer than its prey, and it's also the inspiration for the famous book Moby Dick. Number 6. Mosasaurus if the 2015 Jurassic World taught us anything, it's that despite having an island filled with terrifying prehistoric lizards, there's always a larger and more terrifying monster lurking beneath the waves. The ancient Mosasaurus stole the show, but the reality behind this prehistoric sea terror is much more disturbing. Although a much more diverse species than what the movie led us to believe, the Mosasaurus of the ancient world existed between 100 million and 65 million years ago. Many of them were cunning predators, similar 
similar to several other sea monsters on this list. They use their razor-sharp teeth to rip and shred at their prey. Although several of the species were thought to have been peaceful foragers, one thing is for certain, the largest of the Mosasaurus could reach around 50 feet in length, dwarfing pretty much every other sea monster of the ancient ocean. Although in Jurassic World, the Mosasaurus appeared to be around double that size, the sheer force and significance of a 50-foot predator is terrifying nonetheless. Similar to snakes, they were believed to possess jaws that could expand and swallow prey whole, essentially giving the Mosasaurus free reign to feast on anything and everything. Number 5. The Giant Squid Although squids may not seem like the most terrifying sea monsters, the giant squid is absolutely terrifying, just like the previous one we mentioned. The giant squid's eyes are the size of frisbees. They have suction tentacles which can leave bad battle scars, and their maximum length can be around 45 feet. But one of the main reasons why they'd be a great contender against Megalodon is because they can regenerate. Some say this makes a giant squid immortal. Giant squids can regrow several tentacles, bodies, and heads. They've been caught on underwater cameras many times, and the footage is terrifying. In the movie The Meg, which is about megalodons, there's even a battle between a megalodon and a giant squid. Megalodons are far less intelligent and also lack arms and tentacles. They also lack any defense from behind, and their gills are an easy weak spot. Megalodon's eyesight is nowhere near as good as a giant squid, and they also get confused by the ink the squid squirts. Who would you put your money on between a battle of these two? Number 4. The Giant Stingrays The truth is, much like the crocodile and its ancestors, the stingray is amongst the most resilient aquatic species this planet has ever seen. However, in the ancient world, they grew to an astonishing size and were seen in numbers never before witnessed on planet Earth. In some cases, the giant stingrays of prehistoric history were believed to have grown to over 17 feet in width and possess a 10-inch poison barb at the tip of its tail. Although its ancestors aren't exactly like the giant stingray, now, they saw a boom in their population in the fallout of the dinosaurs. After the meteorite wiped them all out of the oceans, they were the last vestige of life on Earth, and the giant stingray population grew to an astonishing size. The thing is, their terrifyingly ancient design has survived to this day, and the methods in which they ruled the ocean are just as effective as they are now. Their neurotoxic spike has been known to pierce directly through human limbs, and these otherwise docile creatures are far more complex and we're all led to believe. Number 3. The Vampire Squid Bet you never expected to see this many squids on this list. Like something from a movie, it's very real though. They have a jelly-like body that glows in the dark. Unfortunately, very little is actually known about this very mysterious creature because it does reside in the depths of 900 meters, where it is very difficult for us to explore yet. The saturation of oxygen down there is as low as 3%, but mysteriously, vampire squids can still live in these suffocating conditions. It's not known whether Megalodon would be able to go down that deep without getting suffocated, though maybe vampire squids could beat Megalodon in a battle simply because they live at such deep depths. Number 2. The Plesiosaurus The term sea monster has been synonymous with very human urban legend, the Loch Ness Monster, the Great Lakes Monster for centuries. Cryptozoologists have been convinced that the ancient sea terror survived prehistory in the murky depths of the planet's oceans. Whatever the case, their prehistoric counterparts are the literal definition of being a sea monster. Although the species of Plethiosaurus aren't many, their unique anatomy has led to numerous speculations as to their role in the ancient world. These long-necked reptile predators have recently been theorized by some to have functioned similar to the raptors of the dinosaur world, essentially making them a pack of sea monsters that terrorizes the waves without mercy. Number 1. The Dunkleosaurus Topping off our list today, the Dunkleosaurus is described as the Tyrannosaurus of the sea. Others say it's like an underwater tank. It measured over 10 meters long and weighed over 4 tons. That's the weight of around 2 elephants. It had a rock-hard armored shell, meaning Megalodon's teeth may not be able to bite into it. And instead of teeth, it has lots of bony, sharp plates. This carnivorous hunter is one of the largest fish to ever live. Many fossils of this apex predator have been found with the bite marks of its own species in it. This means that the fish was so hardcore that it literally was a cannibal. So I'm thinking there wasn't much that was off limits to this creature.
That's all for our list today. Which sea monster scared you the most? Let us know down in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe, or you'll have bad luck for two weeks.